How's it going guys? Today before we start our problem, I just want to let you guys know if you guys are having trouble with breath first search or BFS, this is the video for you. If you guys give me five minutes, everything will make sense. You will never misunderstand BFS again. So with that being said, let's get into our Alright guys, today we're going to do a problem called binary tree level order traversal. And this is a, a question that's asked by Amazon, LinkedIn, Facebook, Microsoft, Oracle, Uber, Walmart Labs, Google, and Bloomberg. So it's a good one to know. Our problem description says, given a binary tree, return the level order traversal of its nodes uh, values from left to right. And level by level. So if we're given this binary tree, we want to return a list of lists. And we're going to contain three... 9, 20, 15, and 7. So this is the output, right? The first list is 3, because that's the top level. The next list is 9, 20, because that's the second level. And the third and final list is 15, 7, because that's the third level. So what we want to do is first we want to declare a return value, right? So we're going to have a list of lists of integers. We're going to call this result, and this will be a new array list. And now we're just going to do simple error checking. So if we don't have a root, we have no processing to do. So if our root is null, we're gonna return our results. And otherwise, we have some kind of processing to do, right? So what we need to do for BSF, BFS is we need a queue, okay? And a queue is really just a line. You guys can think of a line in real life. So if you go and try and order some food, if you're the first one there, you're the first one served. If you're the second one there, you're gonna be the second person served, and so on and so forth. So a queue is a first come, first served data structure. So let's make a queue, and it's gonna hold our tree nodes that we need to process. So we'll say queue, tree node q equals new linked list and because we know we have a root right we have this error checking here we know we have a root so we're just going to add our root to our queue so q dot add root and kind of like a restaurant or a store anytime you have customers you have processing to do right so that's going to be our while loop so while our queue is not empty or in other words right while we have like customers to serve we have some work to do so the first thing that we want to do is we want to get the size of our queue, right? So how many different nodes in the current level do we have the process? So the very first iteration, we're only going to have one node, right? Because it's going to be the root. And in this example, the second level will have two nodes to process. So let's get the size of the queue, or in other words, how many tree nodes we have to process on this current iteration of this loop. So we'll say int size equals q dot size. Awesome. And so now what we want to do is for every single level, we need to make a list of all the nodes values, right? So let's make a list. So we'll say list integer, and we'll call this current level equals new array list. And so this will hold all the nodes values that we need to process. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to iterate through all the things in our queue. So we know the size of the queue, right? How many nodes we have to process. So we'll have a for loop for in i equals zero. Well, i is less than size i plus plus. And now what we want to do next is we just want to get the current node that we need to process. So we'll say tree node current equals q dot remove. So now that we actually have the current tree node, the first thing we want to do is just add its value to our current level list. Okay, so we'll say current level dot add and we'll say current.value. Awesome, so now we've taken the current node that we're processing and we've added its value to the current level list that we have, and now all we have to do is actually look at the current node and see if it has a left child and a right child. And if it has either of those, we need to add it to our queue so that the subsequent iteration will be processing its children. So that's as simple as checking if the left and right child are null. So if current.left, is not equal to null, we want to say q.add current.left so that this way on the next iteration we'll, ch we'll process its child. And we'll do the same thing for right. So if current.right is not equal to null, we'll say q.add current.right. Awesome. So now once we've processed all the nodes in our current iteration, we have a list of all those nodes' values. And now all we need to do is actually add this list that we have to our list of lists, right? Because that's what we need to return. So we'll say result.add current level. And that's really it, guys, because now once this loop ends, all we need to do is return 
our list of lists, which is called result. So let's see if this works. Awesome, and it does. So guys, this is a basic template that you could use to solve the majority of uh, breath first search problems. I hope this is helpful, I hope it made sense. If it was, do me a favor, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys next time.